How many of you are familiar with the California Reparations Task Force? Show of hands. Show of hands, okay. Um, how did you hear about the California Reparations Task Force? A little out. I actually just put something on the website and I looked up all the work I'm doing and I started. Okay, have you been listening to any of the hearings or following along with? I just seen a couple of things on the news like it's, it's probably going to happen. That's what it's oh, saying. no, it's happening. It, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Like, that's what they're trying to figure out. Who's gonna they get. figured that out. They, they out. Yeah, they finally figured it out. So, uh, Yamori and I, what we do with ETM Media is we kind of just follow the task force activities. We've been following task force activities before there was even a task force. Uh, when it was back, a bill and before it had even been introduced into the California State Legislature. Um, so we've been following along every step of the way. We're always at the hearings. Um, if you go to ET and Media, if uh, Yamoya gave you one of these cards here, um, you can go to our website, which is ET and Media on YouTube, and all of the hearings from the California Reparations Task Force are on that YouTube site. If you're interested in going back and seeing what some of the discussions were, you can certainly do that. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I didn't know that they had a meeting, what was it, the 12th of uh, July or something, in the middle of uh, the uh, July 5th uh, meeting. Yes, they had a meeting and they were talking about it. Yes. And a couple of my friends ended up there, they were having a choir. So when they came back, they said there were only about two hundred that were in attendance, and then they finally got the choir. And I knew none of the names on there, so I was uh, kind of upset mm. because it hadn't reached what I felt like was the media. It hadn't reached the core of people. None of the churches, as far as I was concerned, were notified. Uh, I didn't hear the NWACP So I don't know what. Or it's like radio radio. Yeah, so I was wondering. What media or what were they using in order to get the word out? You're looking at it right now. It's just the grassroots, uh, grassroots group like EPM Media, uh, like CJEC, Coalition for a Just and Equitable California. We have a large social media presence. But um, as you know, with social media, any of you that are on there, sometimes that becomes an echo chamber of just the same people over and over again. So you're absolutely right. There needs to be more of a communications push to get this information out to the public. And as a matter of fact, uh, the uh, Reparations Task Force that is housed under the Department of Justice DOJ Center, they do have a budget for communications. Um, they have a budget to pay people to get the information out there to the mass media, but there just has not been a meeting um, of minds on who those agencies should be that are pushing out the information to the public. Um, again, Yamoya and I, ETM Media, we're more than willing to do it. They have contracts available, but they seem to be going around trying to find anybody else except the people who are actually passionate about and working for reparations. So they're still working on that. That should be coming. Um, but what we need the uh, public to do is to reach out to the DOJ, uh, reach out to the task force. The task force is available. They're just an email away. If you go to the uh, website, 